Welcome everyone to this video. We're gonna do another LeetCode problem in Python. Today's problem from LeetCode is called find center of star graph. So let's read through the problem and then we'll talk about the solution. This one says there is undirected star graph consisting of n nodes labeled from one to n. A star graph is a graph where there is one center node and exactly n minus one edges that connect to the center node with every node. So essentially they're limiting it to this size that they're showing here. You have given a 2D integer edges where the edges at position i, ui, and bi indicate that there is an edge between the nodes ui and bi. So return the center of the, of the star graph. So let's take a look at the example here. So input edges, what they have given us is some numbers, one, two, two, three, four, two. And what they want us to find out is what is the center of it? So we have one, two, three, four, and they've given us uh, the edges. So one, two, two, three, and four, two. So they're giving us these pairs. Really all we, that we need to do is check to see in these lists, which ones match. So let's say, let's say for example, one, two, and we look at the next one, two, one. Well, we see that two match. So that's going to be our center. So let's test it out on this one here. So we have one, two, five, one. Well, we already know that one and one are the same in both of these. So one is our, our center. So let's, uh, let's code a solution for that. All right. So what we can do is we can just say, uh, node, we'll create a, a couple variables here. Node a, uh, that is going to be basically our first position inside of here. So we would define that as zero and then position zero, zero. So that's going to be this first one here. And we're just going to assign that as a variable. And then we'll do the next one. I'll call node B and we'll do it the next one. So that'd be zero and one. So that would be this one here. And then what we'll do is we'll basically just take these two and compare it with these two or these two compare it with these two. So we'll do that with the, with an if statement. So that would look something like if edges, and then we'll do the next array. So instead of zero, we'll do one. So one at position zero, one, zero equals node a, our first variable or edges, and then we'll do the next one. So one, one, so this is, this is zero, this is one. And then this is zero and this is one. So it'd be one, one. Uh, equals no, I want double equals there. Node A. Then we know it's going to be return node A. So basically what we're saying is if they match, then we know that this is our number. If they don't match, then we know this is the number. So we can return or we can just say else or we can say return. Well, I'll go ahead and, and write it out so it makes it a little more clear on what we're doing. So it would be edges one, zero equals node. We're just going to do the opposite as the other one. So, or edges one, one equals node B. All right. And then we can, re oh yeah, under that we would return node B. So this is kind of a similar one zero or one one. If they match B, then they're going to return B. We could have just returned everything else, but just so hopefully this helps clarify what the two scenarios are. All right, let's go ahead and run it. Uh, what did I do here? 
node B zero. Oh, I forgot to put in the list name here. All right, let's go ahead and run it again. For all test cases and we are accepted. All right, well, that's an answer. That's one way to do it. Um, you know, let uh, put your uh, answer in the comments. Look forward to seeing those or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. So long.